All right, guys, I want to talk to you about locating the VIN number and the data plate on a mobile home. Now, this is important in mobile home investing. Why? Because unfortunately, guys, you're going to deal with some unscrupulous people, some shady people who they may, you'd be shocked, guys, they may try to sell you a mobile home that's not theirs or um, the paperwork wasn't done correctly on their end. So, uh, they're trying to get from under it and, and pass the shady deal on to you. So you just have to be careful and know how to match up all the information to make sure that the mobile home that you're purchasing, um, it is what they say it is. The VIN numbers match, the, the data plate matches, um, just finding out all the correct information because you don't want to be stuck with, with the home that's... Um, that's you can't do anything with because uh, they may still owe a debt on it or um, the, like I said the paperwork is incorrect and unlike with traditional mobile I mean with traditional real estate investing where you have lawyers who kind of do the closing paperwork and they do a title search and everything to make sure everything is on the up and up you kind of have to do the legwork yourself which isn't really that hard um, ninety-five percent of the people you meet there, they are going to sell you the home that they own. Um, but you just have to verify what they're saying and verify that all the paperwork matches. So let's look at how to find the the VIN on the mobile home, how to find the data information, just to make sure everything is on the up and up. So here we have this mobile home, and guys, if you're if you're new on this, you wouldn't know where to find that information, but um, different ages, different sizes of homes, they have the information in different locations. So most importantly, what you want to look for um, to start off with is the data plate. Let's look at these other files that I have. So this is the data plate. Um, you see it right here. So where is this found in the mobile home? One, uh, more likely than not, it will be fine inside a kitchen cabinet, normally by the sink. Underneath the sink is where you will find this data plate. So um, what I want you to look for when you're looking at this, um, two important things. This right here, the HUD number. This HUD number right here, this is important. Uh, let's see if I can highlight it. Um, this HUD number. Um, secondly, another important thing is the zone of the mobile home. Because guys, in, in certain areas, um, especially if you have to move the home, you're going to have to know the zone. Because certain counties, certain uh, cities, they don't allow, allow certain zones. So you find the zone kind of at the bottom of the data plate. Right here, this is a zone one. This is a zone one. Here we go. Zone one mobile home. So that's what you need to look for. Now, some of them will have the serial number. Uh, I think this is the serial number right here. No, this is not it. Um, but let's look at a few other ones to see um, what we're looking at. Um, if you're walking through the mobile home, <clears throat> if it's not in the uh, at the bottom of the sink, by the in the behind the uh, cabinet door, you may be in a bedroom. Look behind this door. Um, in a closet, it may be behind that door. Um, like I said, right here, this is the master bedroom. Sometimes it's right here. Open this door up, and you'll see it. It's behind the door. Or look. Uh, on the on the wall i've seen them there before inside the closet look on the wall um let's see other places where you can find the data plate with the information again in the kitchen right here at in this cabinet it's normally this is where it's located if it's not here just look behind these other cabinets and you should find it um again this is another data plate and guys, what you're looking for is this HUD number. 
so that's important you want this hud number to this label number to match we're going to look at a title also you want that to match the the label on the outside of the home and you're looking for uh the the label also that hud same hud label on the outside of the home let's see if we can get that information there here we go this number right here this hud label number it should match with the number that's on the data plate um yes this it should match with this number here now i don't know if these uh, this is random picks that i've took of uh different uh data plates so i don't know if these will match but this is you want it to match with this number here so um and guys why let's, let's see where else some would be located before i get into the title paperwork uh um yep you see right here behind the, the mobile home this is that data plate this is that uh that label on the outside now normally it's on the opposite end of the it's, it's towards the back of the trail it's on the opposite end of where the tongue is uh where the hitch is so this is where you will find that label normally it's on the home or it may be here at the bottom it may be on the frame so you may have to pull the skirting out of the way if you don't see this it may be on the on the metal frame itself so that's what you can look for also that data plate that we we're looking at earlier that that white sheet it i found them uh, especially on the older homes i found them behind the electrical panels behind the electric boxes and these electrical panels they're normally in a closet or they're behind the the door of the uh the master bedroom up against the wall so that's where you can find those thing at and it's always just good to check this panel just to make sure that uh all the fuses are in there all the breakers are in there uh nothing no wires are hanging out so it's always just good to check this um <clears throat> let's talk about why it's important so somebody tried to pull a fast one on us the other day they called and said they had a mobile home that was a 2019 now we're looking at this they didn't have any title paperwork or anything they just claimed that they had a bill of sale so look at this uh guys you see anything missing on this bill of sale they just have 19 they don't have 1980 1989 or 1999 and the woman told us that this mobile home is a 2019 but she wanted four thousand bucks for it so we're like that's kind of strange why would somebody take a a big loss on a, a mobile home but she didn't send us any well she did send pictures later after she told us of 2019 and that's how we knew something was off because the home looked like a 1979 not a 2019 um and again what threw up the red flags for us was the bill of sale didn't have any title and here look at this bill of sale it doesn't look official it looked like something that they wrote in um didn't fill out all the correct paperwork uh let's see i think i have another picture of it yeah there we go yep well look at on this paper they had it the year 2019 16 by 80 and in no form or fashion was this a 2019 mobile home so that's why all these things have to add up guys you just can't take somebody's word for it you have to what's the old saying trust but verify you have to verify what they are telling you is true if it's what they're saying is not true then uh it's more than likely you need to pass on it because they're being shady and um they may have still have a loan on the mobile home that's why they, they can't produce the actual title uh the bank may still have the title and they're just trying to get from under it and passing a fast one on you um so you just have to be careful of, of dealing with shady people and how you uh do the legwork and, and check make sure that everything is is on the up and up is by looking at this data plate and just confirming on the and this uh data plate that's in the behind the cabinets or behind a, clo a closet door but most importantly let's look at this title um so the VIN number right here, this is important that you must look at. This VIN number, 
right here. This has to match lots of times. Um, the VIN number will be here somewhere on this data plate. So lots of times you'll find it up in this area. So these things have to match. Uh, let's see. Uh, another thing to look at, um, and you can see too that they have the make and model number that will be on that data plate. Um, that's what, how you can confirm it. Also, you see the uh, the year of it, 1997. That will tell you also on this data plate that when it, the home was manufactured. You see right here, it was manufactured in 06. So that title should say either 06 or 07. Now the thing about mobile homes also, they're just like vehicles. Um, even though, like when you're watching commercials of vehicles, even though like we're now we're in 2023, um, a lot of these commercial, I mean, a lot of these car manufacturers, they'll start selling the 2024s like in September, October, November of 23. And even though the year didn't change over yet, but it's, it's labeled as a 24, even though the home was manufactured, even though the car was manufactured in 23. So uh, it may say 06 here or 07 but it actually may be a 08 a year ahead of it so don't let that part confuse you um let's look at this title again uh and guys again this it'll be in the bedroom if you don't see that data plate look behind the doors look behind closets um let's get back to this title um, what's important also is making sure that they are listed as the owner in this area. They are the owners. Um, and uh, as far as liens, if they still have a loan on it, they will have the company's name right here. Now, either it will say lien released somewhere up in here, and they will give a date, or they will have uh some kind of paperwork from the bank saying that it was released that the lien that the lien was released if you don't have that something saying that the lien was released i would not touch that mobile home um you have to make sure that it's everything is on the up and up any any no liens on it no back taxes you just want to confirm all of these things um and as you can see, and in this situation, it's not listed here, but they provided me with paperwork here saying from the bank saying that it was released. Um, another title here, you can see it says the make has the VIN number, um, the year that it was made, date issued, 92. Um, see right here is no, no liens on, on this uh, mobile home and I know you guys are in different states but titles are pretty much all the same so um, it'll look something similar to this uh, I want to show you guys too the, I had a picture of a hot water heater um, sometimes these things are yeah right here they're in a closet where the hot water heater is especially these older ones like you see up in this area well, let's see if I can zoom in. You see up in here, there'll be either, they'll have a panel right here, a door that's blocking the water heater. So you pull that door back and you can see it, this little panel RB on the wall in the closet of the water heater is where you'll find that data plate. Um, again, this is another data plate they're all behind the cabinets guys just look behind the cabinets or behind doors so um again guys i hope this was informative i uh, hope you it's important that you do your due diligence and making sure that these numbers match because you don't want to buy a home that's <laughs> you can see <say> it's hot <laughs> somebody's selling you a home that still has a lien on it um and you, you make sure that you verify the zones zone one zone two or zone three because if you have to move it into a, a county or 
a city that doesn't accept a zone three, then you're, you're stuck with that home. So you just verify all of this information. And when you're looking at this home, it's good to just pull out your phone and take a picture of that data plate. That way you can always have it if you need to uh, relay some information to uh, a park or a city if you're getting permits. Um, it's just good to have pictures of all of these things, the, the, the labels, serial numbers, all of that. Just keep pictures of these things. That way you don't have to have that physical paper on you. So hope this was informative, guys. Drop any comments in the comment section if you have any questions, and I'll be glad to help you guys out. But hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.